So we've been getting a lot of questions on the forums asking how to set up uh, Gameware navigation. So I put together this really, really simple demo to show how it works. So before we get started, let me show you guys what we're going to be building. Really, really simple. We're just going to move this small uh, player capsule through a maze-like structure. And it's just going to path from one point to the other, and that's it. Super simple. Uh, let's go over to the script editor. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's set this thing up first. Let's set this. All right. So you'll notice first that there's this light blue mesh sitting on top of the level. That's not something you guys are probably used to if you haven't worked with Gameware navigation. That's what we call a nav mesh. In order to set up a nav mesh, it's super easy. You're going to go to Window and navigate down to the Navigation window. It's going to bring this up, and all you got to do is click Generate Nav Mesh. For the most part, you can leave everything, you know, with the default settings, and it'll work just fine. So, let's just show you what it looks like without. And then you can generate Nav Mesh, and then it's done. That's all you need to do to set it up. So we can close that, and then we can move on to our scripts. So, I put all of the logic for this demo pretty much into this very generically named mygame.lua. Pretty simple stuff. We're going to just we're going to include the nav world um, runtime here. That will give us the nav bot functionality and whatnot. So let's see. First, we're going to create the nav world. So we're going to use that, and we're just going to store it in mygame. And then we're going to load the nav data. This is the stuff that we just created by hitting the generate nav mesh. And it's going to look for it in the same place as your level. So normally it's going to be in the same exact folder and it's going to use the same exact name as your level. Next, we're going to create a nav bot. So we're going to set up a few things here, it's like the start position. We're going to start it off at 15, 15, 0. That's just an arbitrary number that I picked. Uh, we set the height and the radius of the navbot. This is so the navbot knows how small of a space it can fit through. I picked the height of 2 and the radius of 0.375 because that's approximately what that small player capsule size is. And the player capsule was also chosen because um, the navbot asks for a height and a radius, meaning it is a cylindrical shape. So it's most representative of the character capsule. So with that out of the way, then we set the max speed. Again, this is an arbitrary number. You can set it to whatever you want, but for the purposes of this demo, 0.1 worked. So we're going to finally create the nav bot. We're going to again store it on my game. We're going to use the uh, GW nav bot create, and we're going to pass it all the information we had before, and we're going to tell it to start at our start position. Next, we're going to spawn a unit to actually show us in world um, where our navbot is. So the navbot actually is invisible. You won't be able to see it. You will only be able to see the unit that it is pushing effectively. So the navbot unit, we're going to just call it a nav unit just for you know the purposes of this demo. There's actually no nav unit in the Lua API. I'm just calling it a nav unit. So we're going to spawn a unit just like you'd spawn, an, spawn any unit. You know, we're going to spawn you know, the character from the uh, asset browser. It's over here, this little capsule right here. And we're going to spawn it at start position, so it matches up with where the nav bot is. And once we have that set up, we're going to send the nav bot somewhere, as the comment implies. So we're going to set its destination to 000. We're just going to send it to the origin, again, arbitrarily picked. And then we're going to tell it to compute a new path. We're going to tell the navbot to compute a path to the new destination we just set. So once we have that set up, we're going to move on to the update function. The update function is going to, OK, so this uh, game world, no, nav world update is not super important for this demo. It's important that it be here, otherwise it won't run. But this is mainly for handling stuff like if you have um, moving obstacles in your world, if, you have, if you're doing a platformer or something like that where your nav mesh is going to change dynamically and you have you know, moving, um, moving objects that you need to avoid, that kind of thing. But we're not doing any of that, so 
you're not going to do anything too special in here. You just need to have this here. All right. So next, we're going to set the local position of the nav unit. So this is the that capsule model that we're putting in the world, so we can actually see, you know, where the nav bot is. We're going to set its position to its current position plus the output velocity that the nav bot is suggesting. So the way it works is the nav bot, which is invisible, is going to move towards its destination and it's we're going to tell it in the next step right here update position where its physical representation the capsule is so it's going to they're going to communicate back and forth it's we're going to move the capsule to where the navbot wants it to move based on the output velocity that it's suggesting to get to the next point on its path and then we're going to tell the bot hey the capsule was now moved to where you suggested. So this way the navbot can calculate the next step. And then they go back and forth with the um, the navbot telling you know us, hey, you need to move the the um, the capsule to this location, and then we tell it, hey, we moved it to that location, and then it updates its path. And then we have a fairly standard shutdown stuff, just clean up. And then so that, that's pretty much all the logic for the most part. That's all the difficult logic. Then we go to project.lua and we just hook it up. So we're going to have a, uh, a my game reference and then we're going to initialize it. We're going to update and we're going to shut down all of the you know appropriate places in project update, project shutdown, and the uh, on load stuff. And once you have all that set up, this will just work. And it'll path through you know, our maze-like structure that we created. That's a whole bunch of stretched out uh, champ boxes that we just made a little maze out of. But you can use anything, really. So, uh, just to do a quick overview of what we did, we just set up a little maze, we generated a nav mesh, and then we uh, created a nav bot, and then a nav unit that will be driven by that nav bot, and then we just pushed it, you know, we just have the, um, we gave it a destination, and then the navbot did all the you know heavy lifting for us and computed the path, and then we just told we just got an output velocity from that navbot each frame, and then we use that to figure out where to move the unit that it, the navbot is driving, and then we move it, and then we inform the navbot where that physical representation has been moved to, and then it calculates the next step. So that should be it. That's all you need to set up your very very basic. Uh, gameware navigation demo.